Hi there, this is Derek from KimerectalDysfunction.com giving you the hard facts about the soft truth. Now, can you see right there what this article is all about? So, the best herbal supplements for erectile dysfunction. Now, you can see the links in the comments box below. If you can click them, it will take you to some pages for extra information about those particular herbs that we talk about in this video. And there are some probably herbs, myrtle. Best herbal supplement for erectile dysfunction. In this presentation, we will talk about the best herbal supplements for erectile dysfunction and how to get the best out of those herbs. ED is an embarrassing and often frustrating condition that is curable with long-term changes to your diet and lifestyle. Unfortunately, there is no short-term instant fix here. Viagra. Now, that's the double-edged sword. For an instant fix, there is a chemical vigorous drugs like Viagra, of which recent studies have shown us it can be a double-edged sword. Now, Viagra and similar drugs like Cialis and Levitra may give you an instant fix straight away and you're pointing north, you know what I mean, the old compass. Soon after taking them, you know, you point north. But there's a big but in that. But, 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 bigger but than J. Lowe's re-end. Recent studies have shown that long-term use of such drugs negatively affect the lydic cells in the testes and lower testosterone production, thus worsening any underlying erectile dysfunction. That's long-term use, so you're not really getting any benefit, are you? Ironic. Talk about ironic, huh? I mean, you take Viagra to improve your condition with ED, yet prolonged long-term use will make the condition a lot worse. You'll end up helping you to point in a southerly direction instead of pointing north. There are also many other different side effects with Viagra, which I've talk, spoke about on my site. So you can check the website for that, correctdysfunction.com. Side effects of Camagra, which is a generic name for Viagra. The natural herbal cures that I recommend help to redress a hormonal imbalance within the body and improve the testosterone to estrogen ratio as well as improve circulation. Herbal supplements work much better with the right nutrients to help them on their way. If you are aiming to boost testosterone levels, well, you better than make sure you are getting the right vitamins to augment testosterone levels. It would also be wise to make sure that you are getting the required minerals to help the process along nicely. This is exactly why I have a whole list of shakes, juices and smoothies on my website, made with specific fruits, vegetables and herbs to work in conjunction and in synergy with the nutrients contained within them. And if you're going to invest in supplements and herbs, you might as well aim to get the best return on investment as you can and get the best bang for your buck, so to speak. The herbal supplements for erectile dysfunction. Now let's get a ball rolling here with what I believe to be the best herbal supplements for ED. While you take these herbs, please do make sure that you get the right nutrients in your body, right vitamins and the right minerals to help them along. Pine pollen powder. Pine pollen powder is rich and densely packed. Powder from the pollen of a pine tree is packed with over 200 nutrients, including four androgens, including DHEA and testosterone, as well as being a complete source of all 18 branched chain amino acids. It's often described as a mega food that goes way beyond most superfoods. Get a picture there. Tonkatali, also known as Long Jack, known as a libido enhancer and testosterone booster. And it's for over a millennia it's been known as that. In modern times, the natural cure for ED and to boost vitality and energy has been proven to enhance libido in women also. Tonkar Ali is used as a hormone normalizer in men to redress, to redress hormone imbalances. Same with women too. Horny goat weed, the herb with a funny and a fur herb, is known to enhance libido and stimulate sexual activity and to help correct hormonal imbalances in men and women. And goats. It's just own natural herbal Viagra as the active ingredient, Icarine. It works in the same way as its chemical alternative as a PDE5 inhibitor, but with a bonus of not quite stimulating but mimicking testosterone production. It also has anti-aging effects, and for the lady in your life, be ready for PMT and menopause. Here you go, there are a couple of horny goats. Stansi tuberculosis is a rather funny looking parasitic herb that resembles male genitalia. It's very good as a hormone regulator for both men and women, it could, and it contains potassium, calcium, and magnesium, meaning that this particular herb is brilliant for sufferers of ED, who are also suffering from high blood pressure. It's a very rare and hard-to-find herb. Some 80% of herbal remedies for sexual dysfunction in China contain cystantia tuberosa. And there it is there. Ashwagandha. Often people refer to this as Indian ginseng or Indian herbal Viagra. Particularly good for women as it helps to increase blood flow down there, you know, to our 
as well as enhanced lubrication, effective for both sexes for sexual stimulation and potential making sex more pleasurable for both parties. Another herb that can help with high blood pressure, particularly if the high blood pressure is stress related. It's an adaptogenic which has a number of benefits for both men and women. One is helps women to look younger. And that's the end of this short video. If you'd like to leave a comment below, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to check out the links in the comments box below to take you to the sites for further information about these individual herbs. And that's bye bye for me and ciao ciao.